What's up guys? In this video we're going to be setting up a server to be making a real-time application. So the first thing we're going to do is create a folder. So I'm going to call mine uh, to do backend and I'm just going to move inside of it and the first thing I'm going to do is generate. So this is using the feathers command line and this allows you to set Feather's uh, project up really easily. So I'm just going to call it to do backend, no description, all the defaults are fine. Um, and I'm actually going to set it up with a Postgres SQL database. Uh, I like it because it's really fast. Um, if you don't want to use PostSQL, you don't have to, you can use uh, NeedDB. Um, but if you have Postgres installed, I recommend selecting that. Um, and if you don't, it's not too bad to set up, um, do brew do homebrew if you're on a Mac. Um, I, I think you can install with Chocolatey on Windows and I'm sure apt-get on uh, Linux of any sort using your package manager get that installed. Um, and then after this is done installing here we just need to start up the Postgres SQL server. Um, I have mine already started up and then next we're just going to have to create a database in it which is about to tell us we need to uh, create a database because we need to store all our data uh, for our application. So it's actually going to store our to-do lists in the Postgres SQL server. Um, so while this is doing its thing, I'm just going to open up a new tab in my command line um, and then create the database. So make sure you have Postgres SQL installed. Um, and then once you have it installed, make sure you have it started. On Mac, you can start like this. Um, I'm not sure how to start on other uh, platforms. You can go ahead and Google that if you don't know how to start it. Um, I already have mine started, so I'm not going to run that. Uh, I'll put this in the description below if you want to copy and paste this and run that. Um, and once you have it started, we just need to create a database. And then you want to name it the name of your project. So if I go back and see, all right, it's done. Um, it tells me create a database called to-do backend. So I can use this command called create db and when you install postgres it installs this application for you, command line. And then uh, I'm just going to do to do backend, hit enter and it creates the database for me. Now if I come back here I ha told you I had my postgres sql uh, running and then I just created the database for it so this is, should be all good to go. When I do npm start it should start no problem. And let's see, it does, perfect. Okay, so we have just the basics set up. Um, the next thing I want to do is make a service. Generate service. Um, this is going to store our to do items. Um, I'm just going to call it item. Um, it's going to be using the database. And I want to put in the uh, Postgres SQL database. Um, and no authentication. And by default, um, it works with sockets. You notice the only thing I did was check off sockets when I did feathers generate. Other than that, I've done nothing. Um, and we're actually, built-in sockets works just fine. Um, we don't actually have to do anything. So the only thing I'm going to do now is change two small things in our backend, and that's it. So the first thing I want to do is we're just going to go into our services, um, and we're just going to go into the item service, and I'm going to go into item model. So this is inside the backend source services item. Um, open up the item model and you see how it has text here. That's good. We're going to have an item. Um, it's going to have a text and it's going to also have a field called complete. Um, and this is going to have uh, the type boolean. And this just says uh, whether they have the item crossed off or not. Okay, um, so that's it. Just wanted to add that to the item model. And then in the index right here, I'm just going to um, bump this up to 15. This is just a small little thing that'll come in handy later as we, we're gonna be using the uh, find in the client and it lets us uh, get items from the database and it lets us get more than just five. This allows us to get 15 out of the database by default, um, just makes it a little bit easier. 
Okay, and that's it. Our database is all good to go. Our server's all good to go. You notice how easy that was for us to set up uh, a Feather server and get it running, working with sockets and everything. The rest of the tutorial, we're actually just working on the front end with React. Um, so I'm just gonna do npm start, um, leave this running through the rest of the tutorial, because um, it's good to go. In the next video, we'll start working on the front end.